There are some things in life that are worth getting up early for. The trail is actually a loop and you can approach the peak in either direction. We're getting ready for our socially distanced hike up to Mount Baldy. We decided to go counterclockwise on the map and approach Baldy Notch. It's easy to forget that this area is popular for skiing in the winter. Had the ski lifts been operational, it would have shaved a lot of time off our hike. Remember, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. After you get past the restaurant, you're going to continue up the ski trail, which has no snow because we're in the middle of summer. Here marks the beginning of the infamously treacherous Devil's Backbone. Some people aren't scared to grab the trail by its horns. Look, we're not trail runners, so we're just gonna take it easy. As you get closer to the summit, you can feel the strong cold winds. It may be the beginning of July, but there are still some ice patches at the top. Mount San Antonio, but everybody calls it Mount Baldy because it's bald on top. I mean, there's not really much growing at 10,064 feet in elevation. Also at the top, you could be standing in two counties at once. San Bernardino County, LA County. San Bernardino County, LA County. To descend, we're going to take the Baldi Bowl Trail. It's notoriously steep, but the views are incredible. starting point at Maker Flats, you'll see some streams that lead to the San Antonio Falls. Yeah, that's cold water. This is a welcome sight after slipping and tripping over the last three or four miles of rocky roads. All right, it should be smooth sailing, walking back to our car. I only fell once, that's all. How many blisters do you think you got? I'll deal with it when we get home. The hike to Mount Baldy is not for the faint of heart. Yet there is an inexplicable feeling of self-gratification knowing that you conquered something this strenuous.